couple of weeks ago, my secretary said, there's a man on the phone, he says, his name is Evil Knievel, and he has to talk to you, Dr. Schuler, because he's accepted Jesus Christ. I picked it up, and you said to me, in my mind, out of the blue, came a line. Do you remember what you said? Came a line? A line, you said. You said a thought came into my mind, and it was evil. The God you're praying to is never going to give you anything. No, no, he wasn't. I was empty. I was just empty. The God I was praying to was a God that I thought maybe could answer my prayers, but I didn't realize that I needed to go through a living God, and I had, I did, and I'm just beginning to really get the the feeling of Jesus Christ inside of my body, and it's grown and grown and grown. It's become such a wonderful thing since then, and the time we spent together, I just can't believe it. I'm so complete. I always had trouble believing in the Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I. Uh, I don't know why I fought it so hard. I just did. But I, I think maybe it was the power of prayer. Maybe God just got sick and tired of me fighting it so much. He reached out and grabbed me and said, Look, I just want you. You've got to stop this nonsense. You just, you just come with me. Anyway, I, before the Daytona Bike Week this year, I, I started thinking about God more and more. And I called people and talked to them. I don't know why. I just didn't. I called a friend I hadn't, I hadn't uh, talked to in 30 years. His name is Eldon Wright, and he belongs to the New Hope Community Church in Portland, Oregon. I talked to him, and he called me back a week later. He said, I've had my whole church praying for you. The whole church is praying for you. And I said, well, that's not the first time that this has happened. My daughter's had her whole church praying for me in Bozeman, Montana. And I just, uh, I rose up in bed in Daytona. The second night I was there, I rose up in bed and I was by myself and I, I said, Devil, devil, you bastard, you get away from me. I, I cast you out of my life. I just got on my knees and prayed that God would put his arms around me and never, ever, ever let me go. I just, all of a sudden, was just overcome by the Spirit of God Almighty. I know that there's more to life than what I've had. I read, uh, I, I, I wrote a book called Evil Ways. I said I've had a life better than any king, any president, or any prince. Hogwash. I didn't have Jesus Christ in my life. I was talking about the Rolls Royces I had, five of them. The Ferraris I've had, five of them. The Stutzes, the Lamborghinis, the, the jet airplanes, two of them. I flew one alongside of the other so I could read my name on the side of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Evil Knievel. My dad said, who are you going to impress at 40,000 feet at 600 miles an hour? Why don't you go down and buy a truck, drive along the freeway? I, I just, the, the diamonds and the gold and the racehorses and the women and the booze, I want to tell you something. I've been a sinner. You're looking at a real sinner, but not anymore. You're not looking at a sinner anymore.